Hey Dagger, I know if I top uh, last weekend I lost, but now how's uh, how you preparing in such a short time against Chicago this Wednesday? Uh, we just need to go over the things that went wrong in in the last game uh, against Columbus. I mean, we conceded uh, a weird goal in the first half, and and uh, it was a weird game. I felt like I felt like, for example, in the first half we we did good, but we just need to take the the good things out of the game, and of course, look a lot of the bad things because there are too many bad things happening this season. So I think we need to just go over that in these couple of days that we have. Looking at the game, uh, you guys play very well. It comes from a PK, a controversial VAR, but uh, um, and also a second goal was uh, an amazing finishing, but uh, uh, from Diego Rossi. But uh, when you say to improve, what, what do you think the team have to improve for the next game? Uh, we concede a lot of goals, and I feel like we we're always saying yeah, next game, next game, next game. But I think we also just need to take a little bit of a responsibility. Like it's on us to turn things around, us the team. And I feel like we we need to step up a lot if we want to do something this year. And, and me, myself, I need to step up and, and everybody else. So it's, it's just we need to look inside of ourselves and, and see what's what's the problem. Is there a difference with the way you guys play where you maybe feel a little bit more comfortable on the road where maybe you can play against the ball a little bit? Uh, do you feel a little bit more pressure at home to, to dominate games and, and maybe that doesn't fit your style? I mean, you know, just trying to figure out what the difference is between the good away results and maybe the disappointing uh, home results. It's a good question. I mean, last year, for example, we we did the same thing. We started really badly, and then from June or uh, I think after the League's Cup, we won every single game. So I think it's just uh, maybe it's a little bit mental, and I don't I don't know why, but for me, like I love to play in Orlando and I love to play in the stadium. So it's nothing like for me myself. I can only talk for myself, like. My head is when I come to play at Intercore Stadium. It's like, like, what a great day! I'm gonna like, I love it. So I just think we, I don't know. It's a really good question, and I don't know the answer, but it's. I think we just need to find why it is like that because we we could do it last year, so we can do it again. Well, the good news is you got two road games. That's <laughs> <laughs> good question. Um, yeah. So you know, with this new formation, I know last year you moved. You know, you, you, I know you pride yourself on being able to play all over, but becoming a right back from really being more of a central player through most of your career. Now you're playing right wing back, not exactly the same thing. Is it a little bit different having that extra center back behind you? Is there an adjustment period there for you? Yeah, I think it's different for everybody, uh, everybody in the team. Like it's a, it's a different formation, and it, of course, it takes a little bit of a time to build through that. Like changes we're making, and we're getting new players in and stuff like that, and we're. Like we lost a big player in Mauricio Pereira, which was like the basically the head of the team. So I think we're still just a little bit recovering from that, which is, and we need to do it faster, of course. But uh, I think that's also a big reason. Like losing him was was a big piece of Orlando. Uh, so yeah, we just need to find a way to cope without him and and cope in that system we're doing. I don't know how much guys, uh, prep you've even been able to do on the Chicago Fire. Have you guys gotten anywhere in, in what you might expect from this game on Wednesday? Actually not. Uh, we uh, we do it now. We, we do a video and then we go to the pitch and, and we try to see what we want to do. So it's just in the next couple of hours that we get to see everything for them and, and what we're going to do.